Hi there everyone, once again we're at the Royal Society, I'm with Laura and she has again dug out some amazing film footage oh, from this 1965 expedition. They're in the Solomon Islands which is several islands kind of spread out and they're trying to draw parallels between the biology in different areas of the islands and it was a two-part expedition so they had a land party and they also had a marine party. We see them fossicking here and chipping stuff out of rock. Another important part of the expedition was that they were kind of going out for conservation purposes so this was kind of uncharted territory as far as kind of Western scientists went. So they were going out there and they were going to propose really to the government that this is an area that should be preserved. So this is sort of, this is probably quite the early stages of thinking like that, isn't it? Of yeah, thinking, it is, yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Look yeah, at this. Believe it or not, they're actually catching butterflies. Bit oh. of an excessive bit of kit to do something like that. Look at that. You were talking about conservation. I don't know about <laughs> no. sucking the butterflies out of the bushes yeah. with the... Ghostbusters the, style. It, it is. Who are you going to call? <laughs> there was 20 scientists came over from the UK, but they had loads of local help, so dozens of local people kind of helping them carry out this expedition. And here we go, the scientist is having a go. Firing it up <laughs> like, an old, like an old lawnmower. That's it, yeah. And he's got a machete in one hand just to finish the look. And that's to catch a butterfly. Yeah. We see, it looks like we're seeing, you know, local people as well mm. in the footage and capturing a bit of the, the atmosphere of that. That's your favourite yeah. shot, isn't it? I just think it's so arty. Laura's it's been talking. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's been talking about this shot all day. That was it. <laughs> that was all. You've been it's bigging funny. it up the last 20 minutes. Come she's on. been telling me, you've got to see the shot between is, the legs. I just think it's good because this is clearly the off cuts. You know, this stuff isn't making it into the mast. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're sort of getting a little bit, oh, hang on. Let's I want go to... for something a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> We've got them picking bits and pieces out of this. Look at that blue starfish. Yeah, it's very lovely. So this is the ship that they, they chartered a ship from Fiji. Look at the coral. Yeah. Is this science? Something He's having a holiday snorkeling know, around on the... A sunburn. He has caught Looking a bit of a bit sun. pink. He is. <laughs> He's a true Englishman abroad. Yeah. <laughs> so as always, Laura is super organised when we make these videos and she has got mountains and mountains of documents here for us to look at. You know we're not going to look at all of this, oh, don't you? Go I'm sorry. <laughs> but let's have a look at what's in some of these folders yeah. that relate to the expedition. Yeah, so this is all kind of really nice press stuff. So, I mean, although it was a scientific expedition, it, there's also a nice bit of publicity for the Royal Society as well. Look at that. Rats as big as rabbits. Rats as big as rabbits. And you've been warned, Laura, be careful of the wild <laughs> ginger. There's quite... <laughs> you be careful of the wild ginger. Beware. Yeah. <laughs> there's quite a nice bit about the leader of the expedition, his nickname, Mr Mushroom. He was so keen on fungi. Master Mushroom. I actually think that's kind of a cool nickname. It's a cute nickname. But these letters are very interesting, aren't yeah. they, Laura? Because these give us some sense of the thinking of the scientists behind the scenes. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was a bit of conflict between the two parties. I can imagine that because yeah. there, there's one group that wants to explore everything on the land. Yeah. Another one that wants to explore everything at sea. That's it. Limited resources. Yeah. And we've got a letter here from someone from the expedition. Yeah. So he says, my main organisational criticism and one that was generally held is that efficiency was much lowered by having conflicting demands on the ship by land and marine parties. The need to interrupt marine work to transport the land party and the necessity for the marine party to stay in Honiara while this was being done not only caused some stress between the parties but also led to a great waste of time which we filled as best we could. Clearly the ship itself is the resource that everyone yeah. wants and who gets to use the ship is the problem. Mm. Although the final line of this paragraph does smooth it over a little bit, doesn't it? It says, yeah. of course, I would rather have gone to the Solomons under these conditions than not gone at all. There's another interesting little nugget here you found too. Though, yeah, this that's is right. So there's a real conflict here between kind of commercial interests and the whole scientific mission. So we've got a letter here. And again, this is one of the scientists who's interested in soil. And they found soil that's suggesting to them that there could be some really valuable yeah. aluminium under, under the ground here. Yeah. To sum up, I believe there may be a vast quantity of high-grade aluminium ore, but I should not like this to be publicised at present, mainly because if it is so, I should like to see it developed so that the Solomons themselves would benefit as much as possible. These people are very aware that the Solomon Islands is a very poor country yeah. and they don't want them being exploited. And if they're sitting on and a really valuable amount of aluminium, yeah. this person's concerned that they should be properly compensated. Yeah. So they're thinking of keeping it secret. 
just among the correspondence, by the way, yeah. I have to say, what a great letterhead that How is. How nice is that? That's the British Solomon Islands Geological Survey yeah. Department. I love that letterhead. The lovely 60s design. Also, by the way, in addition to all this incredible film footage that Laura has, she also has two books bursting at the seams yeah. with pictures. There's pages and pages of these. There's so much stuff. This must be a bit, it's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, there's a lot and there's a whole archive off site as well to do with this, so. Well, there's even more. Yeah. But of course, this expedition was really about science. So I mm -hmm. guess the big question is, did they get a lot of good science done? Got some great science, they yeah. sure did, yeah. So a couple of new species. So this is some of the scientific findings that yeah. arose from the expedition. That's right, so we've got a new family of mites. <laughs> I mean, small but important. We have to at least take it out of the plastic. Oh, I know. I think it would be it would be finished. rude to it would be rude to not at least have a little look. <laughs> oh, look! We've yeah, got pictures. There we go. A nice illustration. Look at that! You go to these beautiful tropical islands and you write a paper on mites. <laughs> what else? Another new species, Heteromorus. New species being discovered and reported in scientific journals. Loads of really good quality research came out of these. They would have taken the samples while they were on the island and then distributed the samples out when they got back to the UK. So not all of the research was done at the time, it would have been done a bit later on. So great film, great photos, yeah. lots of scientific papers, little bit of scandal and edginess, bit, it's yeah. got everything. Got the, it all. The question I have is, does going through all this make you want to go to the Solomon Islands? Yeah, did you see that beach? It's amazing. It was nice. <laughs> You've got to watch out for the mites though. Yeah. <laughs> This is New Scientist. Spoiler alert here, there's a picture of the fish and look it says there, the fossil that was caught alive. So they did catch a living fish. And they just managed to get one. Yeah. Before we show it to you, let's read the story of how it was caught. 